All right, this is going to be an overview of how to use themes in your SAS Pegasus apps with Tailwind and Daisy UI. So I just released a little update to Pegasus with uh, better theming and dark mode support. So you can see now there's this little dark mode selector here. Uh, your users can choose between light, dark, and system defaults. Um, and Pegasus out of the box will ship with a light theme and a dark theme that are based on the default light and dark themes for Daisy UI. But if we want, we can override those themes and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So let's try changing our theme to Cupcake. And in Pegasus, that will involve changing it in two places. One is the Tailwind config file on the JavaScript side and CSS side. And then the second is in your settings.py, which will allow it to also be handled server side, which helps with like little flickering issues and things like that and persisting it across sessions. Um, so now that we have changed our theme, we can refresh the page and we'll see that we get this landing page in a entirely different theme. And this doesn't just sort of, you know, live in the landing page. This will go to all your different forms and in your application settings. Um, the same thing works for dark mode as well. So if we start with our standard dark theme and let's say maybe we want to do like a Halloween type of theme, um, then we can go ahead and switch our dark theme to Halloween and we will switch it up in our Tailwind config as well. And now we can come back and refresh our page and we are in our Halloween theme. It's a, it's a little bit more subtle, but if we sign out, maybe we can see a little spookier theme there. Um, the last thing I'll just quickly show you is a couple new component examples that I just put into Pegasus. So one is a Flowbyte demo. Um, Flowbyte is a component library for Tailwind and it comes with like a lot of useful little sort of standalone UI components that you can drop into your projects. So I just kind of took a random assortment of these and dropped them into a Pegasus app so that you can see them. Um, the other one is ShadCN. So ShadCN is a React library that also has tons of components that you can use uh, in your Django applications. It is quite complicated to set up in a Django hybrid app. So I uh, wrestled with that for a while, but now it will work out of the box with new uh, Pegasus applications. And ShadCN is also uh, themable. So if you choose your Daisy UI theme, you can see these uh, ShadCM components are getting updated according to the theme as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So there's our little Halloween styling. Um, yeah, so that is themes in a nutshell. Hope that was useful. Let me know if you have any feedback or questions in the comments, and I will see you next time.